Okay, down the street. Beautiful day. Nice coffee. Nice coffee. Coffee's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, coffee's very good. Okay, and what's your name? Michael McKay. Now, you were complaining to me for about a month now. You got a concern. What's your concern? Well, the concern, Charles, that I'd, I'd like to see... I never thought I'd see the day I'll say this, but speak louder. <laughs> there you go. Okay, uh, on the serious part, um, you know, I, I, uh, I'm just wondering, you know, like, there's so much that where people are on fixed incomes through, through, uh, through, through the welfare or whatever, uh, that, you know, there's a lot of people I hear of that, you know, if, if they want to go to the doctor or whatever, or say they need to go to the welfare office or whatever, Especially the welfare office. Yeah, and and take a bus. No, or there's no bus to go to the welfare office. No, but I mean, you know, like, like get transportation, pay for transportation. You know, people aren't getting enough on the system to cover, you know, their bus pass or whatever. You know, I, I've actually talked to a person here not too long ago, and they said to me, you know, that we were talking and and. Uh, you know, some people have to choose whether they're going to have, whether they're going to buy food or whether they're going to get a bus ticket or a bus pass. Or have a bus pass and have a McDonald's coffee. <laughs> What's the difference? Um, well, uh, McDonald's coffee only costs about $1.58, but a bus pass costs $65 a month. Is that $65 a month? It's $65 a month for a monthly unlimited pass. So, I mean, let's, let's now, be honest here. If they give you extra money on your welfare check, to sixty-five dollars. How many? How many people do you think that would buy a bus pass with that money? Well, what I'm saying is this, you know, and, and and please understand, I don't take anything away from our senior citizens. Our senior citizens made this country great. They they, they did. They, they paved the way for all of us. But the senior citizens, there's a deal. I don't know where they. I don't know where how that happened. But as many of us know, the senior citizens have a deal through whether it's transit or the senior citizens bureau or whatever it is uh, that they can get a yearly pass for what is it sixty dollars or fifty five dollars or something like that uh, from uh, January 1st of one year until December 31st of the same year um, you know and that's great you know it's a yearly pass whereas there's nothing there's nothing for people on on welfare or fixed income or whatever you know so, so what do you do? You uh, show them. I, uh, well, you said limited income. Well, what I do you know, call it? Is that, is that what you call it? Limited. Well, fixed, uh, low fixed income. In, low income welfare, low income recipients, whether they're on welfare disability or just plain regular welfare. And you got the you got the working poor also. And you have the working poor, but the working poor are more are a little bit better able to afford than those who are on low income. But the working welfare. poor has to pay for their own prescription. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as I know, they do, and unless there's, unless they're like part time or something like that, and there's a deal, there, there's something through the worker or or, or their policies over there uh, will allow for that. I have no idea. But one thing I'd like to personally see is because I know myself where I'm living right now. Uh, where are you living? I'm living up on Smith Street. I'm currently waiting to see if I can get back in over across the river where I was there over on Cliff. It was a lot easier. I wish to God I'd never left in the first place. But, well, know. that's what happened when you fell in love over over the, the internet. Well, but anyway, we're not going to go down that I road. Never mind. Don't, don't, don't answer that. Don't. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. So we, anyway, never mind. We're changing subject here. But, but what I'm trying to say, Charles, is this. You know, um, I, I know I myself. Uh, I've been trying to find work ever since I got out of the university. Uh, I just. Can't, I mean, I can work. I, I, I'm able to work with with adaptive equipment. However, I haven't been able to find work. I've been putting resumes out all over the place. Maybe it's your attitude, no? Well, my attitude is that I, if the boss hires I'm laughing, me, I'm, I'm laughing. I'm, yeah, I know you are. <laughs> but my, my attitude is, there, you know, the boss hires me, I'm there to work. I'm not there to goof around. I'm oh, you don't give opinions you? I'm not there to goof around. I'm there to, I'm there to earn my paycheck like everybody else. What's your name again? <laughs> Smart Alec. Uh, but anyway, Charles, all I'm trying to say is that I'd like to see some kind of mechanism that would help people on a fixed income with all seriousness, that would help people on a fixed income to be able to afford a, a bus, bus pass. pass at a, maybe Can a, we get a bus pass? Can we get a bus pass? 
Charles. <laughs> no. This is serious, man. I know. I know. This is very serious. I know. They're looking at me. Just because, staring at me. Because, because me. Charles, the fact of the matter is, a lot of people are on, are, are on low income through welfare, and they're out panhandling. And some of those people who panhandle can't afford to eat because they don't get enough. No, but then they can go to soup kitchen. They soup could... kitchen's fine, but sometimes a soup kitchen, uh, there are people who have allergies. You know, and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I talk to people who have, who have allergies to stuff. They can't have certain And things. there's some people that owns money for drugs and all that. They can't go to soup kitchen because that's where the other people hang around. Well, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not here to talk about but you know what, what I mean? goes on up around there. I mean, I have to go there myself sometimes. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, you know, if I, want, if I want to eat healthy, I mean really healthy, I can't afford what I need personally, you know, to, to eat properly. So bottom line is, you want people with physical or mental disabilities no, on no, welfare? No, 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 no. This is for anybody who's on welfare or welfare disability, no matter what their condition. Because it affects everybody, Charles. It doesn't just affect people with disabilities. It affects everybody who's on that low income through welfare. That you know they need they need they need access to transportation. And so they the deal they and, had and, with and, the, and unless they have a subsidized rent, they can't properly afford it. The deal it. they had with the citizen should have the same de the same deal. They should have a similar deal or something through. Uh, uh, social development New Brunswick that will allow for that sort of thing so that they can monitor it maybe like if they can monitor it, say okay this person's on the system uh, we'll 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 make sure that he he or she has has enough you know for, for a pass but once you go off the system you know let's say you go off the system two weeks before the end of the month well you still got your monthly pass but after that if you're not on the system you, 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 know, you, you don't continue to get it un unless there's a certain arrangement. You're going to set up a meeting with the mayor? I, I'd, like to, I'd like to talk to Mayor Woodside about it. You know, right now I'm a little nervous and a little, you know, because I'm trying to collect my words. But I would like very much if, if the mayor would be willing to sit down and discuss it with him or, or somebody he could point me to and, and, and seriously and honestly get something that can help people on fixed incomes uh, through, you know, welfare, disability or whatever. Uh, or just plain welfare, because okay. let's, let's face it, the, price, the cost of living is high and, and food's going up, everything's going up. Okay, we'll do a follow-up. Thank you.